Hello YouTube and welcome to The Baron and welcome to my first let's play of Sakura Dungeon. Now, this game was recommended to me by a friend who actually got me one of the Sakura games when they first came out and I've been wanting to play more because I like RPGs and oh, let's face it, it's, an, it's basically an etchy game. I don't know how not safe what this game's going to be. I'm not expecting like a Hoonie Pop level, but I am maybe expecting like a Hoonie Camp level. So it'll be in that same category of, please mom if you're watching this, turn the YouTube off now. You have been warned. And yeah, to be honest, I have wanted to play this for a while because I like RPGs and I like dungeon games. And hey, who doesn't like massive boobs on anime girls? And I guess I'm just turning into one of those YouTube Let's Players because apparently a lot of people actually like the Hoonie Cam videos. So let's not beat around the bush, let's just jump straight. Uh. That's for normal. So if you don't know what the. Huh. Is the long dream finally over? What happened to me? How much time has passed? I can't say for sure. But I can tell that I have not been awake for a long time. That's right, I begin to remember now. A loud yawn escapes from my lips as I look at my surroundings. I run the sleep away from my eyes, my blue vision slowly focusing. Yummy, that was a good nap. It's then that I noticed someone else standing in the room. Yes, a... I'm assuming Fox Girl? Seri. You monster! A woman clad in silver armor is pointing a sword at me. What do I do? She is kind of rude considering they've just woken up. I challenge you! I can't help ignore her for a moment. Really, you're ignoring the person pointing a sword in your face. Behind me, I see a shrine with a crystal in the center. Tapping the strange crystal, I feel my finger go numb. Tell him, what did you do inside this room? Eh? I solved the puzzle and you emerged from the mist which came out of it. So it seems like we're sealed in a puzzle. I have no idea how this puzzle works, but this woman was capable of figuring it out. But enough of that! I know, I know not what you are, but I will defeat you! Oh, you're an adventurer. Look her up and down. She does look the type. Look, am I Yomi or is this Yomi? I'm not sure now. You, uh, you can obviously tell that she's trained hard. Every single one of her movements are precise and efficient. Know my name, Fox! I'm Seri, the, adventure, the Adventuring Knight. If you're an adventurer, you'd uh, be up to date to on current events, right? I understand why you're asking, but that, yes. Tell me, adventurer, when did the domain of Queen Isis disappear into the dunes? She looks at me dumbfounded. So, yeah, I guess I'm this fox girl? Yeah, what a bizarre question. That was during my mythical times, hundreds if not thousands of years. Oh, it's been a while then. Several hundred years. I wonder what has changed while I've been asleep. Don't even care that I'm here? Stop insulting me! She rings her blade down and arc is right. I step to the side, avoiding it completely. So yeah, I'm uh, I'm the pink fox girl. Good to know. She looks at where I was standing. How so fast. Oh, because our power is missing. The magic force is looking around me. I've been siphoned while I was asleep. Not good. It seems that I'm going to have a lot of questions to ask when I get back to town, assuming it's still there. I still have enough power to defend myself against this adventurer, however. Grabbing the hilt of her sword with both hands, she swings at me again. Could you please stop that? Again and again, she can swing. It's fast, very fast. You can't be this fast. Why not? You just can't be. I can't run away. He steals his head. Face me, monster! In my hand, swirling into the waterfall. Yes! I feel the sense of flying back across the room. Her armor shatters into pieces, so they walk over, looking down as she lays on the ground. Stand back up, but is unable to muster the strength to do so. But she doesn't look afraid. In fact, she looks me dead in the eye. Oh, fucking hell! So, this is it then. 
I knew the day was going to come eventually. So while obvious money, she forces a smile. Well, you are my last opponent. Could I get a last request? Ah, oh god, it's gonna go Yuri. I think you misunderstand my intentions. Even though this woman is hostile, I've no intention of ending her life. From my lips, ancient words pour. The room slowly circling the ball night. Wait, what are you doing? Okay, I finish the spell and my mana dissipates. Come on, get up. Don't be. Her body responds and then stands upright. Hmm? My body, that's on its own. What did you do to me? Sorry, I had to test if the spell worked correctly. What spell? What did you do? I spell. Magic of contract between you and I. Yay, she's my puppet. Let's stay forward. You are my subordinate and I am your master. You may call me Yomi. The music is really jarring for this. I use the last of my power to the spell, so I'm going to be relying on you, Sari. I'm your what? Release her the spell immediately. Sorry, but I can't release the spell right now. First of all, we need to get you somewhere safe. Let's do I still have it. Checking one of my pockets, I can't help but smile when I see it. Here it is! I firmly grabbed the knight by her arm. What are you doing? Please just tell me what's going on. Three, two, one. The warp stone inside my robe begins to rev. One more in that room. The next we're standing in my hometown. Okay, now that we're six minutes in, I should probably explain to anyone who doesn't know. The Sakura series of games are etchy fantasy. Uh, I guess they're um, ah, uh, what's the word? Visual novels. Uh, typical, typical of the Japanese style. I'd heard this one had a lot more RPG elements, which is what really interested me about it. But right now I'm not sure because I'm not doing anything. If it does turn out like the last Sakura game, though, which was Sakura Spirit, then I won't be doing very many Let's Plays. I might just do the one. So we're going to get to 15 minutes and then we'll see what happens. Where are we? Somewhere safe. This is the town I passed through earlier. Why here of all places? Oh, good to know the illusion spell is still working then. What's even better is that this town is, town is still standing. Illusion spell? Stand what do you mean? Also, yep, I've just noticed something. If this is what I think it is, yep, so we can let's just check out our two ladies. She just slumps her shoulders in defeat. Well, it's somewhere safe. What does this town mean to you, Fox? There's humans here, so wouldn't this place be unsafe for you? Not at all. I found in this town myself. We need to disguise the dungeon's entrance, so this is our solution. Dungeon's entrance? Wait, you tell that you're the dungeon lord? I was, at least. But I'm guessing that is no longer the case. Okay, connection so the dungeon has been severed. Because that can only mean one thing. I have been usurped. <sighs> Sari just stares at me in belief. Disbelief. Such a thing can happen? Sometimes, yes. Let me guess, you were there to clear out the monsters? Well, yes. But I felt miserably. That's good, actually. Our goals are the same. Anyway, I do not like seeing, uh, seeing you walk around in tatters. Let's get you cleaned up. I take her you know, with me to the inn. As I'm inside, everyone goes silent, everyone meets the stamps of the brushes the entrance. Before we do, stands out of Isabella, my innkeeper. Yep, mustily tights, yeah, this is Sakura. Well, Master, is that really you? Really? 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 It's a lot of reallys. No, sorry, the Isabella. Cheers are up from the inn. Sorry to keep you all of you waiting. We don't know what happened to you. One day you were here, then you disappeared. It's so sudden. Where have you been? I was sealed away inside an abandoned room. I don't quite remember what happened, but I think I will work it out. I see. The important thing is that you're okay. We're so glad to have our Dungeon Lord back. I'm going to see you all again. However, there is a problem at hand. Yes. Unfortunately, in your absence, someone else has taken your dungeon from you. I've heard things are really bad down there right now. Seri just stares at them. You were all monsters? Like I said, illusion spell. Since you're currently my subordinate, you can see through it. She appears in a state of shock. Oh, yes, we served her earlier. What is she doing with you? She's the one who released me. So now I've decided that she's going to work for me from now on. That is... You know, that is real anime logic there. 
I've just decided that you are my pet, so you are now my pet. It's not like you to take humans for servants. What kind of monster girl are you then? Because if surely if we can see through the illusion, we should see what she's meant to be. But so far she just looks like a typical etchy anime innkeeper. Well, I have a good feeling about this girl. She's looking kind of pale. And it looks like you two had a bit of disagreement? Yeah, that's a word for it. Please, please see to her needs. No problem. I'm more than happy to serve you, my humble master. She needs to away to the spare room. The hot bath's ready for you right away. You should be able to spend this armor too. Okay. That sounds fine. Just completely giving herself over to something. The hot bath pressure is the most serious pressure in the shop. Literally back in the same place. It's strangely hospi hospitable for monsters. That normally would have cost me hundreds of gold pieces. We look after our own around here. Now then, Seri. I know you aren't going to like this, but we're going to work together now. You want to clear out that dungeon? I want to get my dungeon back. I do not think this is unreasonable to join forces, do you? She has for a moment. Well, I find the idea of working with a monster completely absurd. I know there's nothing I can do about this spell you've placed on me. As you said, we share a common goal. To defeat the monster reigning over the dungeon. So I see no point in being angry about things I cannot change. I accept this bargain. That makes me very glad to hear that, Seri. Okay, so now I'm starting to wonder, is there the actual RPG mechanics after we get through all of this set piecing? So I'm sure your expertise will be useful. Ah, I did, uh, it did me no good against you. I haven't had a real challenge in a long time and it's gone to my head. Perhaps this experience is just what I needed. Uh, sometimes I need to take a blow, sometimes you need to take a blow to your pride. Can it hurt now and then, can it? Humility is the only way we can improve ourselves. She lets out a bitter laugh. I would like to have learned that lesson in a different way. But as you said, there's no point complaining about circumstances you cannot change. Anyway, if you need some time before we begin our adventure, I understand. Please feel free to make use of any of the services we have here. Thank you. I think the first thing I need is a drink. Do you want us off to the bar then? While this entire situation isn't ideal, I can't help but be excited. Several hundred years is plenty of time for things to change. An entire new human kingdom is out there. New monsters I can meet. New food I can eat. It's as if I've stepped into another world. But I cannot say uh, that I was happy to be sealed. I want to make the most of this experience. So let's see what lies ahead. Ah, okay. So, yeah, there is. Explore dungeon, talk to Isabella, walk around town, go to the shop, organize party status. So, party status. This is Seri Expo. Okay. Residuous damage. What does that mean? For every point of agility. Uh, is this meant to be class? In which case, it doesn't really tell you what she is. I'm assuming she's basically a knight. Uh, okay. Okay, nice and easy to change back. Casuals change out. Oh god, there's outfit changes. Um, walk around town. Got some free time at the moment. It'll yeah, probably be good to check in my servants. You never know what might be happening in town. Good idea to stay up to date on the local gossip. You know how much time I spent asleep. I'd be happy to hear some recent news. So, I where I should go first. Through the dungeon, dialogue events will become available in town. Checking these events can lead to uncovering secrets or unlocking special events. So, make sure you check. If there are any events available after you come back from the dungeon, maybe we should look at later. Okay. Uh, go to the shop. I suppose we can find the counter. I'm gonna guess Elf Girl. Now that's someone I've not seen in a long time. I'm gonna leave it when I send you back. Right here. So, what would this place is my shop to have a chair now? Well, we've fallen on hard times since the new dungeon lord took over. We currently do not have the capacity to make any particular strong items at the moment. If you bring mana shots though, I can make some basic items. I hope that's enough to make you happy. It's boring enough. You've kept things not here nice and tidy, even after hundreds of years. I'm very proud of you, Charlotte. It's good to hear your kind words again, my humble master. I've been saving this in case I needed it, but I think it would be better if you had it. She walks around and places something in the palm of my hand. A whopstone! 
Ah, that's what I used. So that's what I used earlier to get back to the village. More than welcome. Prince Rana shows to the dungeon. I will gladly make you more. However, the shop does not have a wide array of items. As you progress through the dungeon, more items become available. Make sure to frequently check the shop and see what else is available between dungeon expeditions. So warp stones or healing potions and okay, so mana shards are yeah. And that's at least as talk to Isabella. Uh, but we don't really have much to share at the moment. Talk to her later. Okay, in which case we're gonna save the game now. Nice and easy. So thank you very much for joining me for the let for the first playthrough of Sakura Dungeon. Well, I'll give it a proper go next session. Let's delve into the dungeon. And well, you've seen basically the main selling point of the game. Big anime boobies. So thank you very much for joining me. Like and subscribe for future videos. Links will be in the description below as always. And leave your comments below. I love reading your comments. And if you have any ideas of what you'd like to see me play, let's play, uh, board games, or anything you'd like to talk about, then please leave that below. So thank you very much, and as always, get out of my house. Bye!